Hi there, Richard Matharu here. So are you a network marketer who wants to sell more of your products and recruit more reps, but you just don't really know how to bring it into conversations without feeling like you're jamming it into people and being all salesy and pushy? Well, if you want to be able to fix that so you can make more sales, recruit more reps, and do it in a way that everybody enjoys and you feel good about, I'm going to teach you how you can do that in today's training, so stay right there. Okay, so let me give you some advice about how I solved this problem because, you know, when I first got into network marketing, I didn't come from a sales background. So I didn't really know how to approach the subject and I found I was very, very clumsy. Like, do you ever feel that way? Like, just clumsily trying to, oh, you're eating cheese. You know what else is yellow? My vitamin, buy my vitamin. You know, and they're like, whoa, whoa, who's this guy? I'm like, I noticed your shoes look scuffed. You don't have any money. You want to make money? Join my MLM team. We'll take over the world. They were like, oh man, why do I get away? You know, I'd rather put cheese on my feet and eat my shoes and listen to you some more. And that's because I wasn't taking the time, and you might not be either, to understand when there is a need or to stimulate that need as opposed to trying to force it when it's not even there. What do I mean by this need stuff? So if you are having a conversation with somebody and you were asking them some intelligent questions such as, how's things with you? They'd tell you how things are, right? What do you do? They tell you what they did for a living. Or if you knew them, how's the job going? They're gonna tell you things. And over the course of literally 60 seconds or a couple of messages on social media, they'll reveal a need if there is one. Well, I just wish I had more time. Well, I wish I had more money. Well, I wish I was in better health. You know, if you have a health product, well, I wish I could travel more. Maybe you have a travel product. So this need is gonna present itself. And what's important is because you ask questions as opposed to like shoved it in there, they're the one that told you, which is so much more valuable and converts so much better as opposed to you saying, hey, you look like you need more time. That's offensive. So the resistance isn't there. So what I would suggest that you do is in your conversations and in your social media is start to use intelligent questions to stimulate. It's like rubbing the lamp, right? Okay, what's going to come out of this? Okay, and then poof, like that's a genie sound, poof. Like uh, a genie comes out the bottle and they reveal that this is my problem. Now here's the difference. Because you now feel like, okay, I can help with that, the position of where you are and coming from changes completely. Instead of trying to think, I want to make a sale, I want to make a sale, I want to make some money, I want to make some money, get them in, get them in, get them in. All of a sudden you're thinking like, I could genuinely help you. Like you say you want to get in better health, I believe in my vitamin, or you want to travel more, I believe in the travel membership, or you know, whatever, right? So now you can suggest something, even without a script, and they're going to feel how genuine you are. It feels so much better for you to be like, no, 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 I can actually help you with this. And everything's going to convert a whole lot better for you. So in your social media conversations and your posts and your face-to-face -face conversations, doesn't matter what methodology you're using to build, start to use questions to stimulate and reveal a need. And then if you feel there's a genuine uh, solution that you possess, introduce that to the person, they're going to feel that better energy, you're going to feel a whole lot better about it, and even if they say no, as opposed to feeling like rejected and look tight, you're like, oh man, that's a shame, uh, and the whole thing just feels a lot, lot better. So I hope that's helped you. Take that, give it a shot. Today, before you have a conversation, just catch yourself and think about my advice. You're going to see an improvement. You're going to feel better doing it too. As always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. And if you want to attend a web class that I'm doing this week, if you are a network marketer, uh, you can go to richardmathrew.com forward slash YouTube and you'll see there a page. Click a button. Web class, you can choose a time this week. There's a few different times. Enter your email and you'll be sent a free access link to attend that training. Uh, it's good. Um, I mean, I, like, I can't do DIY. Ask me to put up shelf. It's going to be like this. But teaching network marketers how to build their teams online in a predictable way. I'm pretty good at that. So I will see you over on that web class if you make it. As always, create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.